Hi guys, good day. This is me again, Sir Jiggs. And in today's session, we'll be learning on how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. I know in my previous um, videos, we already learned how to solve quadratic equations by extracting the square roots, factoring when a is equal to 1, when a is greater than 1. So at this session, it's another new method that we'll be learning. And as far as I know, it's almost the same with extracting the square roots. But there's a slight difference, and that difference is something that you will find out in a few. So first we need to define what is completing the square. But when we say completing the square, it is another way of solving quadratic equations that involves transforming the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 into the form quantity x minus h squared is equal to k, where k is greater than or equal to 0. So again, this is the standard form of our quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. My question is, why is it your k should not be less than 0? Anyone? Alright, so the reason why our k should not be equal to 0 because if k is less than 0, remember our extracting the square root method, if k is less than 0, then we will have imaginary roots. So there will be no real solutions. So here's an example. x squared plus 4x minus 32 is equal to 0. So we will try to solve this equation by completing the square. So the first thing that we need to do here is to add 32 to both sides of the equation, then simplify. So that would give us x squared plus 4x minus 32 plus 32 is equal to 0 plus 32. So obviously your 32 will be cancelled at the left side of the equation. So that would give us x squared plus 4x is equal to 32. And by the way, this tab is more about moving your constant term to the right side of the equation. So moving forward, if you are moving a certain term to the right side of the equation, then you need to change the sign. So if this is negative 32 on the left side, if it is already moved to the right side, then it will become positive 32. So same goes any terms coming from the right side. If you're moving it to the left side, then you also need to change the sign of the term. So in this case, since it is negative 32, since we move it to the right side, it will become positive. Clear? Our next step is to add to the both sides of the equation the square of one half of four. So meaning to say there are two things that we need to do. We need to divide four by two, then square it. So what is one half of four? That is two, two squared, that is four. So we need to add positive four to our earlier equation when we move 32 to the right side. So that would give us x squared plus four x plus four is equal to 32 plus four. So we'll simplify it, that's x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 36, which is the sum of 32 and 4. My question is, what is one thing that you have observed on this process? Anyone? So on this step, it's like adding to the both sides of the equation the square of one half of your b. What is the value of your b? That is positive 4. 4 divided by 2, that's 2. 2 squared, that's 4. Okay? So earlier, we moved the constant term to the right side of the equation. And now, we are adding the square of 1 half of your b. The next step is to express x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 36 as a square of binomial. So when we say binomial, it is composed of two expressions separated by plus or minus sign. So the answer would be quantity x plus 2 squared is equal to 36. Square, so there should be exponent of 2. How to get this binomial? Here's the technique. It is composed of the square root of your quadratic term and your constant term. So square root of x squared, that's x. Square root of 4, that's 2. You just need to follow the sign of your linear term. Since it's positive, then it's positive. If this is negative or minus sign, then this would be minus or negative sign. Clear? So the next step that we need to do is to solve quantity x plus 2 squared is equal to 36 by extracting the square roots. Yes, you heard it right. As part of the steps in completing the square method, we are also extracting the square roots by applying the square root property. So we need to get the square root of quantity x plus 2 squared is equal to positive and negative square root of 36. So what is the square root of 
quantity x plus 2 squared, your radical sign and your exponent 2 will be cancelled. Okay? So therefore, leaving us x plus 2 is equal to positive and negative 6. So after this, we need to solve the resulting linear equations. Considering that we have positive and negative 6 as a result earlier for the roots of 36, we need to solve it separately. Positive 6 here, negative 6 here. So the first um, equation would be x plus 2 is equal to 6. In order for us to move positive 2 to the right side of the equation, we need to subtract 2 on both sides of the equation. That would be x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 6 minus 2, and x is equal to 4. Second, x plus 2 is equal to negative 6. So to move positive 2 to the right side, we need to subtract 2 on both sides of the equation. So that would be x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to negative 6 minus 2. So 2 on the left side will be cancelled. So negative 6 minus 2, that's negative 8. Let's do the checking. For x equal to 4, we need to substitute this value to the original equation. x squared plus 4x minus 32 is equal to 0. So that would be 4 squared plus 4 times 4 minus 32 is equal to 0. What is the square of 4? That is 16. 4 times 4, that is 16, minus 32 is equal to 0. 16 plus 16, that is 32. Minus 32, it's 0. So 0 is equal to 0. So therefore, this is a solution. Next, for x equal to negative 8, let's substitute this value to the original equation. x squared plus 4x minus 32 is equal to 0. So that would be negative 8 squared plus the product of 4 and negative 8 minus 32 is equal to 0. Negative 8 squared, that is 64. What is the product of 4 and negative 8? That is negative 32. Then minus 32 is equal to 0. 64 minus 32, that's 32. Then minus 32 is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0. So this is another solution. So therefore, both solutions are valid. Here's another example. 2x squared minus 56x minus 120 is equal to 0. So we will be solving this equation by completing the square. So the first thing that we need to do here is to divide both sides of the equation by 2, then simplify. Why are we dividing both sides of the equation by 2? Anyone? Our goal prior of solving the equation by completing the square, we need to make sure that the leading coefficient of the equation is 1. Since this is 2, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So, that would be 2x squared minus 56x minus 120 all over 2 is equal to 0 divided by 2. So, what's the quotient? That's x squared minus 28x minus 60 is equal to 0. 2x squared divided by 2, that's x squared. Negative 56x divided by 2, that's negative 28x. Negative 120 divided by 2, that's negative 60. And 0 divided by 2, that's 0. So after getting this equation, we need to move 60 to the right side of the equation. That is the reason why we add 60 to both sides of the equation, then simplify. So that is x squared minus 28x minus 60 plus 60 is equal to 0 plus 60. So your 60 here will be cancelled, leaving us x squared minus 28x is equal to 60. So the next step that we need to do is to add to the both sides of the equation the square of 1 half of negative 28 because the value of your b is negative 28. So what is 1 half of negative 28? That is negative 14. Negative 14 squared, that is 196. So we need to add 196 on both sides of the equation. So that would be x squared minus 28x plus 196 is equal to 60 plus 186. So what is the sum of 60 and 196? That is 256. So therefore, our final equation would be x squared minus 28x plus 196 is equal to 256. So after this, so we need to express the equation as a square of binomial. So our technique here is to get the square root of your quadratic term and your constant term. What is the square root of x squared? That is x and the square root of 196, that's 14. Considering that our linear term is a negative, so we need to follow the sign. So therefore, the square of our binomial is quantity x minus 14 squared is equal to 256. So next is we need to solve this equation by extracting the square roots. That's the time we need that we need to apply the square root property. 
So that would be square root of quantity x minus 14 squared is equal to positive negative square root of 256. So again, we need to cancel the radical sign as well as the exponent 2, leaving us x minus 14 is equal to positive and negative 16. Considering that we have um, two roots here of 256, we need to have it separated. So that would be positive 16 here and negative 16 here. So we need to solve the resulting linear equations. So x minus 14 is equal to 16. So in order for us to solve for the value of x, we need to move 14 to the right side. So in order to do that, we need to add 14 both sides of the equation. So that would be x minus 14 plus 14 is equal to 16 plus 14. So x is equal to 30 since our 14 here will be canceled. Next, x minus 14 is equal to negative 16. We'll be moving 14 to the right side of the equation by adding 14 both sides of the equation. So x minus 14 plus 14 is equal to negative 16 plus 14. So what's the sum of negative 16 plus 14? That is negative 2. Let's do the checking. For x equal to 30, we need to substitute this value to the original equation. 2x squared minus 56x minus 120 is equal to 0. So 2 multiplied by the square of 30 minus 56 times 30 minus 120 is equal to 0. What is the square of 30? That is 900. Multiply by 2, that's 1,800. Then the product of negative 56 and 30, that's negative 1,680 minus 120 is equal to 0. What is the difference of 1,800 and 1,680? That is 120. So 120 minus 120 is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0, so this is a solution. Next, for x is equal to negative 2, so we need to substitute this value to the original equation. 2x squared minus 56x minus 120 is equal to 0. So 2 multiplied by the square of negative 2 minus 56 times negative 2 minus 120 is equal to 0. So negative 2 squared, that is positive 4. So 2 times 4 plus 112 because negative 56 times negative 2, that's positive 112. Minus 120 is equal to 0. So 8 plus 112 minus 120 is equal to 0. What is the sum of 112 and 8? That's 120. 120 minus 120 is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0. So this is a solution again. So therefore, both solutions are valid. So at this point, do you have any questions, clarifications? Anyone? So to wrap up this session, you are now able to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Again, please don't forget that prior of choosing this method to solve quadratic equations, you need to make sure that your leading coefficient or the value of your a is equal to 1. Because if it's greater than 1, then you need to divide your equation to that coefficient. Then follow the necessary steps after. So hopefully you learned something today. This is me again, Sir Jiggs. See you in my next tutorial. Have a great day.